Today, we're going on a little bit of an adventure. First first stop is gonna be UPS. We gotta watch packages to get out to you guys. And then after that, we are going to go pick up our friend Dan. He plays in a wonderful band against The Current, who I've got to do a bunch of tech work for. They are great people, great band. For this next tour, he's looking for a, like an ebony Les Paul standard. So we are going to go to Jimmy's Vintage Music in Auburndale and go check out his Les Pauls, see if he's got anything else. And then we have a deal lined up after that at uh, someone's house, we're gonna go check out some stuff. Come along and we'll have some fun. Taking our spot. My VIP parking spot. Jeff Bezos stole it. That's a shame from Hell's son. His dad's looking for a guitar. Yeah. So we will we will find his dad a guitar. I think we're gonna find him a Taylor T5. Because he needs like a thin line. Because all the, the ones from the 90s to 2006 are all like not chambered. Or most of them aren't chambered. Whereas every standard of It doesn't is need chambered. to be chambered, it's just that they reserve like the nicer woods and the light woods for custom shop and like the premium top stuff. Right. Yeah, for a lot wow. of the Murphy Lab stuff, that's why none of the Murphy Lab stuff's heavy. Oh. It's all like eight high sevens. Like this is the only one red one there. Oh, dude. And it's destroyed. No, it's it's quiet. Dead. <laughs> but I don't know. We just got to Auburndale, Florida. Gonna check out Jimmy's Vintage Music. It's always a great time. Let's see what we find. It's cool. Many cool finds already. There's British Racing Green, is that what we figured this thing? Yeah. That's cool. They're smaller than it. They pick. Yeah. This is the one that we're out to use. This, this, this is just something similar. Yeah. <laughs> I said that in Asheville and then we came back with like eight amplifiers. This is what we need though in the, in the mix of kit and the line. Just the, just the top piece. Oh, so I can, so I can yeah. I mean, we could, you know, we only have one V right now. So two Vs, you know, no one would, would be upset about that. Obviously, it's uh, whatever you're. It tastes a little bit smaller. It's more expensive than it was online. Perfect. I thought it was going to say. The blue one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me try the blue one. I think this is going to be a fresh one. It's got the original case. 67 range, too. I get no repairs on that guitar. No repairs will I get. Really funny. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a shoot you straight. This is for what you want to exactly. do with it. This is yeah. the best thing that we found. Yeah. And the price is, is right. And we'll see if they can work them out too. I'm gonna shoot you straight. I say like I'm about to give you bad news. No, I just mean like this is glow in the dark inlays. <laughs> I'm just trying to be as <laughs> like I know nothing. <laughs> They're this aged to perfection. They're glowing in the glow in the dark. This is the other Rick Beato signature. <laughs> what the hell happened Dude, here? Could... No, I mean, for what I'm trying to do. Yeah. And like, I feel this would be just for home. They probably wouldn't take this out. I would. Although I haven't been the one playing acoustic on the tour. It's Will's been playing. Oh, that's right. If I had some personal money to spend on fun stuff, that Princeton would be. At my place of residence immediately. Super cool. Oh, I gotta try that before you put it back. I'm gonna have to come back for this though. It's like uh, actually a thin enough acoustic neck that I enjoy playing it. What are you doing? I don't even have. If I gave all my cash, I wouldn't even get that one too. We're getting Sir Dan Gao a Gibson Les Paul Classic. We're getting ourselves a 67 ratio V and a really cool purple burst Les Paul Traditional and a Les Paul Gold Top Deluxe with mini humbuckers. A lot of Gibsons lately. A lot of Gibsons lately. I've been on a Gibson kick. Ah, yeah. You're just gonna keep playing it, make you feel bad, so you have to get it. Playing which one? J45. I know. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna get you. We get something. And then all you're doing is. Get me some. You want some? Great date, Jimmy's Ranch guitar, as always. 
Thank you, oh, guys. Thanks. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, you checked them out. Thank you. You like the yeah, PLS? I didn't ask these guys for permission. Okay. Dude, that tops off. So it's, I did a little bit of digging on this. These are the Deluxe 2s, right? Right. That's so it came, you know, with push pulls and a boost circuit. And so. And then you just. Did you the just convert it? The boost circuit was insanely loud. Uh, just so it induced a lot of noise. Sure, I love the sound of that neck pickup. But some just, you know, I'm not a real big guy. American Standard has Shaw, the Shawbucker in it. 2015, so it's one of the last like American Standards before they came the American Pros. This is all surprise me to know what pedals we were looking at. And we got a Princeton. Gravitated a little bit toward like the PRS SE stuff. <laughs> I feel like I'm the same way. Let me see. Yeah, right. Not that this bad, one's but... they're saying this one's too big or too too too, too chunky too. for me. Did a deal. Find some gear. Sure. Oh, okay. The stuff was mint. I mean, I'm not worried. You, you, you take care of your stuff. Just bought a bunch of non-mint stuff. Yeah, we without trying, without did not plug any so. of it in. <laughs> so we're just buying off the wall. Exactly. Rig. Double Kemper. Once, once for Doc, once for Dan. It's a volume pedal, or it yeah. can be anything. Okay. But yeah, it's just fun. This is Will's. No, yours, the one in Europe should be the same. I think it's, I think it's the same, the same as this. What is this a songwriter or what is that? That's a J15, I think. Oh. It's this weird rare one because it's Walmart. Yeah, it came in two variants that year. And the Memphis 339. Matt Finch. This man just bought a bunch of guitars. Now he's about to take on more stuff. Do I? Maybe we get this one too. It's it's new guitar day. <laughs> yeah, it's did pretty good. It's did pretty good. It's pretty good. The neck shapes are pretty similar too, because they're both classic. Today's been great. It's yeah, been a Gibson day today. Yeah. Got a lot of Gibson guitars today. Got a Fender guitar, got a PRS, but mainly today, I mean, we've been getting Gibson like guitars. I think we might get a Taylor Rod here too. Slow. Why not? Yeah, it's making small. sure the weight is close too. enough to the other one. It's all the same, I think. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. I, know I, people. Pandemic. I was surprised. Pandemic. Because to me, I was like, oh. I felt weird buying like this bastardized, like this modern Les Pauls. Like, right. And I watched some videos and read reviews, and people were like, don't sleep on it. I didn't even notice it's got like a little kind of sparkle. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's cool. a pewter. Yeah, the finish is sick. You oh, can't pick cool. it up. Actually, you can kind of see. Oh, yeah, you can see. Now, there's my favorite Les Paul of all the ones in this house. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, and then. That should, that should be funny to get one from Gibson. Yeah. So I want to have one. I'll, I'll bring it over one day. It's How's it metering? Glad it works. It does work. Okay. Closest 20 years difference. 19 years between the two of them or something. Mm -hmm. This is great. I know, I like it. I like yeah, it a cool. lot. Price is averted. We got the end of guitar for tour. We can finally do the tour. We can finally have to cancel the tour. We didn't have any guitars. We, didn't, we couldn't find a guitar for this tour. We couldn't even practice. Yeah, we've been holding off rehearsals. None of these will do. None, not a single one. This. Works. You guys want to see a real dumpster fire? What, like, what? <laughs> garbage. <laughs> Thanks, Gibson. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this free paperweight? It's <laughs> the heaviest. <laughs> I want to make like guitar satire videos. <laughs> it, is, it is very extra. You got all these guitars. You just go out shopping for a lighter one. You got all these yeah. guitars and you just go. Yeah, when fun. you're like kids. <laughs> do you do a YouTube the thing in front of the against like, the current like, YouTube so it looks uh, like that? You... <laughs> do we do the outro in front of us? Put it in the back. So you want to film the outro at home? At the shop? Yeah, you can unload all the stuff. Do like a final. Uh... We could do like a mini fresh finds at the end. Yeah, just open all just the Just open every case, like literally 10 seconds, 20 seconds each guitar. Yeah. So today ended up being way cooler than expected. Initially, I went into today just hoping to find Dan a cool Ebony Les Paul for the upcoming Nightmares and Daydreams tour that I guess The Current is doing. I will be on the US leg of the tour, so if you're coming out to a show, let me know. We ended up also finding a bunch of stuff for ourselves. Well, at Jimmy's Vintage Music, we ended up finding a few really cool guitars for the shop. We stopped by and checked out some of his private collection, ended up with a few cool pieces. 
And then kind of as a bonus at the end, uh, we're going through a bunch of gear at Will and Dan's place and decided to grab some of that stuff as well. Since they're getting some new stuff, time to move through some of the old stuff. Let's do a really quick look at everything we found today. So these first three pieces are from Will and Dan and have all seen a bunch of use with Against the Current, if that's something you're into. 2016 ES339, this guitar is phenomenal. It's been recorded with a whole bunch, sounds incredible. One of Dan's old tailors. This one is the 322, 322 CE. So it's an acoustic electric and obviously has the cutaway. And this one is Walnut, which is really cool. Very rad guitar. Original hard case. It's got some wear from uh, lots of lights and stuff. And then we've got this player Telly in blue, really cool color. Pretty straight ahead Telly. Very cool guitar. From the private collection we checked out, we got this really cool PRS SE Piezo. Very rad guitar. We also got this Gibson Les Paul Studio Deluxe 2. Very cool. Some minor mods, the electronics to kind of make everything a bit more traditional because these usually came with, I think it was like a PCB board wiring. So it's been switched over to something much more proper for Les Paul and this thing as well is really awesome. Very tasteful upgrade. We also got this really cool American Standard Stratocaster from 2015. Gorgeous finish, look at that thing. Nice rosewood board, that thing's gonna set up very, very nicely. And, uh, a very cool guitar. They, all this stuff they definitely took really, really good care of, which is always really great to see. It's a nice blend today. So we've got these pieces from the personal collection were like mint. And then you got some stuff from Will and Dan that's actually like seen some recording use, seen some use on the road. It's a little bit more on the player realm, which is cool. And then you get some stuff from Jimmy that's kind of all over the place. But we got this really, really cool Gibson Les Paul Gold Top Deluxe. The mini humbuckers. Got this tradition on this gorgeous purple finish. And we've got just a classic 67 reissue of Gibson Flying V. I'm really excited about that one. I don't personally play like V's, they're a little, a little crazy for me, but that one plays really, really good and it's, it's really clean too. Also got this Princeton Reverb amp from that private collection, which sounds awesome. Bunch of really cool effects here. This thing is really, really cool. This is the effects gizmo from RJM. This is something you can put in a rack and then plug all your pedals into and then control them remotely. So you can keep like an analog signal chain while having digital switching, which is really cool. We've also got some classic strum pedals. You got the Timeline, you got the Mobius, and you got Big Sky. MXR Q-Zone, MXR Timmy. You got the Wampler Tweed 57. You got the J Rocket Dude. I have actually never used one of these pedals, so this one's a new one. Two of these LPD pedals. I'm a little more boutique. And 74. These are both like Marshall amp in a box style pedals. Overall, fantastic day. Really great to see Will and Dan. Great to have, spend a day going and looking at guitars and getting to take home a few while we're at it. I would say it was a very successful trip. Thanks for coming along. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite find was from today, and we'll get back out there and do it again soon. Thanks for watching as always. Subscribe, comment, do all of the stuff so we can make more videos and I don't have to ask. Bye.